three laser pioneers on their way to the top. Flying means freedom and inspiration, but there are other parallels to their job. Safety is the, the first thing. And by the way, safety is also the, the most important thing in our work. Flying can probably enhance your uh, research because it actually probably gives you some time to think. I, I, I never fly in a small airplane before, <laughs> so, so this is my first time. I'm anxious, a little bit anxious, but, but uh, we'll see. I trust Antonio will. It certainly will. Antonio is an experienced pilot. Next to research, his passion for flying is unbounded. Bian Chan, T.Y. Fan, and Antonio Sanchez Rubio, three high flyers in the field of laser technology take to the skies above Boston. Then as now, MIT on the east coast of the U.S. is considered to be a mecca for researchers all over the world. When I first uh, touched these columns, I realized I was in the place I had been dreaming of for quite a while before. MIT, uh, it was the hardest I've ever worked, uh, in my, uh, certainly in my life, and, uh, uh, but I also had a great deal of fun. It was at MIT's Lincoln Laboratory that a unique laser system was developed, a technology commercialized by the startup Terra Diode. Many diode lasers are merged into a single beam thanks to an optical grating. The very general uh, conceptual concept is you take two lasers, you're pointing like this, normally you have two beams coming out. So that's no good, you, you know, so our job here is to take as many lasers as possible, combine them and become one laser. In this case we have 180 laser and our job is to take 180 laser to make it to, into a one laser system. This is a trailblazing development. Bian Chan formerly worked with Antonio and TY and left MIT to co-found Terra Diode. He readied the award-winning system for the market. It is magic, <laughs> so, so to some extent, but it's not. Uh, you know, it's just an optical trick that you that we used to make it work. Uh, before Bien came to work to Lincoln Labs, T.Y. and I had already been working on those concepts. But when Bien came, they, realizing the concept, or taking the concept into practice, uh, Bien deserves the credit. The goal here is to put many lasers onto a, onto a fiber, but to put a lot of power, get a lot of power down that fiber for things like uh, welding, cutting, you know, with other sorts of materials processing. The state of the art in terms of laser technology and direct diode is for, for one laser is about 10 watt or so, 5 or 10 watt, and what you see there is about 5 to 50 watt but from essentially from a single laser. So it, you know, so the, in terms of power per element or brightness, that's almost, uh, that's 50 times, uh, 50 to 100 times brighter than any lasers out there, higher than any direct diode in the world. These three thoroughbred physicists had not expected their work to be such a rousing success. Bian Chan hails from Cambodia. Even as a child, he was fascinated by the sciences. As far as I remember, I, I, I want to be a mathematician. That's the reason why I came to America, because I want to study mathematics. I was very much into science fiction at the time uh, when I was a high schooler. I can't say it's something I read now, but I certainly read a lot when I was a, a teenager. Today, he's a role model for the students at MIT, just like Antonio, who discovered his calling only later. When I came, to, to MIT, to this place where we are now. Um, I had no idea I was going to uh, go into places. Antonio, Bien, and T.Y., three scientists of far different backgrounds who by working together have revolutionized laser research. T.Y. is uh, teaching all of us how to uh, get our concepts on paper quickly and effectively and in the briefest possible way. When we hired Bien, uh, we were very happy to have him at, at Lincoln Lab, and uh, uh, he, uh, you know, it took him a while to learn some of the laser things, but he learned them, and uh, 
He was really doing a terrific job for us. These two Germans are my, my role model. You know, it, in a way, you're almost like a father figure to me. You know, he's, he's very kind, but somewhat I think we have similar manners. <laughs> After this little adventure, Bien is absolutely sure that riding in the passenger seat is not enough for him. Would I repeat this experience? Of course, I would love to. All by myself in the front. <laughs> so.